Why do you exist? What is it that you want? What market segmentation do you fit into? Tablet? Two in one? Gaming notebook? You're too expensive. You weigh more than you did before. You should have had a 4070 inside you. He left because of you. You're releasing with a months old processor. You'll probably just overheat and throttle, won't you? Hey there, YouTube people. Hope you enjoyed the intro. It is Surface season again, and we are looking at the Surface Laptop Studio 2. I have it in hand here, and today in this video, we're going to be looking at the throttling characteristics of the Surface Laptop Studio 2, and spoiler alert, it's really good. There is a lot of performance here, and there is improved chassis. One of the things that, that I'm noticing is this is no longer a magnesium alloy on the outside. This is an aluminum. So what we found that did for the Pro 8 versus Surface Pro 9 is that actually increased the thermal dissipation capabilities of this machine. And today we're going to look and find out what the thermal capabilities are. How many watts can this sustain? Uh, when it's plugged into USB-C, when it's plugged in on the AC power adapter. We're going to look at all that now. Okay, so I want to show you the very first uh, interesting thing about this device, and that is its behavior under USB-C power. Now, the first thing that it does is when you're plugged in under USB-C, it does give you an alert uh, that says, weak charging state, please check power charger. It just kind of gives you a warning, but it is pulling power. It is pulling about uh, 57 watts. Uh, it can pull 100 watts though. So if I turn on the GPU stress test, you can see it's pulling 97.7 watts there. Now, um, you'll also know that even on USB-C, we're getting 80 watts of power on the GPU. There we go, 80 watts of power on the GPU, even on USB-C. So that is awesome to see. 100 watt, 80 watt USB-C. Now this is gonna drain your power, um, but it's nice, it gives us the opportunity to actually choose to do that. You can plug this in USB-C, use the full 80 watts on the GPU, and you're good to go. So that's actually very, very exciting. Uh, one note, if you watch the GPU power consumption, uh, it's at 80 right now. If you click uh, the battery and then click up into uh, the window, if we were to change these power settings, so you can see uh, it's on best performance, that's giving us 80 watts. If we change that to better performance, that gives us 70 watts. And if you change that to recommended performance, that gives you 60 watts. So yeah, this is this is exciting to see it, it doing this all over USB-C because that's a lot of power. An 80 watt GPU on USB-C, that's pretty awesome. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna check out is does this thing throttle? And all past Surface devices pretty much have had throttling behaviors. And we want to see if this does throttle at certain temperatures. And to the best way to do this is to run firmware stress test. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run the GPU as, as hard as I can. In order to do that, I have it plugged in. And I'm going to change the power settings to best performance, which is going to put it at 80 watts. So we can see that it is at 70 degrees and the fans haven't really ramped up yet. Uh, so I'm gonna let this run for a while and see if we get any behavior that would drop the GPU below the 80 watt range. Okay, we saw it just lower itself down from 80 watts. 
a few minutes in. Uh, and it seems like it's, the question is, is it doing that because of the heat? And it looks like it, mm, not sure. It's back up to 80 watts now, but I saw it dip about five watts for a moment. But it's still going pretty strong. Oh, it did it again. So it looks like there might be some sort of 80 degree limit here where it will bump the power draw down to 70-ish watts if it gets above 80 degrees, which is a pretty good target, actually. Um, I mean, 70, 72, 73 watts is still great for a 4060. A 4060 at 70 watts is faster than the Z13, and yeah, so we, we saw how good those chips were with the 65 watt in their turbo modes, and this thing's at 73 watts right now, and keeping things under 80 degrees. So they must have some really beefy cooling in this, in this uh, laptop studio too. In fact, we're gonna open it up and take a look at it. Uh, one of the things I should note is this case is now aluminum rather than magnesium is, is the speculation and I can feel the difference. I, I can feel that it's a different material. And we had that when it moved to uh, the Surface Pro 9 from the Surface Pro 8 as well. We moved to an aluminum chassis and what we found is that aluminum chassis, uh, man, it worked a lot better for dissipating heat. And maybe we're saying, seeing the same thing here. So yeah, uh, we are really not seeing any fluctuations. It looks like it's able to maintain about 73-ish watts down from 80. And that's pretty dang good because right now we're seeing a sustained load. Normally if you're playing a game, you'd see peak loads and stuff, which means you'd be peaking to 80 quite a bit. If the frame rate was capped for any reason, you actually wouldn't ever hit that 80 and it would be ready for your burst at any given time. So this, this, seeing this, this is going to translate into very, very good performance. Uh, so that's exciting. I'll continue to let this run for another 10 or so minutes just to make sure that nothing changes here. We still might have skin temperature sensors that uh, maybe are kicking off um, at some point. But I should do one other thing and that is put it in tent mode because what we saw in the old laptop studio is tent mode boosted up into higher mode. So let's see if that works. Sorry, my light's in the way. But it seems we're now back, we're back up to 80 watts. Okay, game on, game on. Tent mode gets us back up to 80 watts and is exceeding 80 watts on the GPU. So once again, folks, tent mode is the way to go if you want to have it stay in high power modes. Now, I'm sorry, this light is in the way. There we go. Uh, so yeah, 80 watts in tent mode. If I move this to regular mode, I bet we'll see it drop to 70. Yep. Oh, it even went further. Went down to, okay, went down to 70. Okay, and let's put it back in tent mode just to verify. And back up to 80-ish watts there. Yeah, 80 watts. 80 watts when you are in tent mode. So that's that's actually, man, that's that's awesome. But I want to see what it does if I leave it in laptop mode um, and let it run for a while. Okay, we're down to we're down to 60 here, folks. 57. Interesting. down to 55. Okay, so if you're using it in laptop mode, you're gonna see, you're gonna see it degrade. Okay, that's interesting. But now that it's been gimped down to, how low will it go though? You know, is it just gonna 
hang out at 50 watts. That's really not bad. Ooh, ooh, we saw 38 for a second there. But that may have been just a glitch. Ooh. It's pinging around, but we're back up at 55, so hard to say. I would imagine there's some sort of temperature sensor going on here. And just to verify, uh, temp mode again, we're gonna go from our 60 watt-ish temp mode back up to 80. So yeah, temp mode is your friend for performance. In fact, you can see the little curve on the graph when we put it in temp mode, it's popping back up. But let's go back, let's go back to laptop mode and see how low it ends up evening out. I think I saw it going as low as about 55. That's not that, that big a deal though. A 4070 at 55 watts is still really decent. I'm gonna do something here and I'm gonna crank up the the ante on this. So I'm gonna run 12 threads on the CPU. And we can see right now the CPU is using seven watts. What I wanna see here is what happens uh, when we stress the CPU at the same time as the GPU. Is it gonna pull a ton of power from the GPU or what's it gonna do? So start that. We're now pulling, oh, <laughs> only 17 watts. Okay, uh, let's try a few more threads maybe. Let's do, let's do 16 threads. That's getting us to 18 watts and the GPU's at 50. So, uh, interesting. So 50 watts on the GPU, 20-ish watts on the CPU. If I go back to tent mode, what is that gonna do? It's gonna be 80 and 20. So that is actually cool. 80 and 30, okay, that's 110 watts. 110 watts with the, uh, when you're using the 127 watt Surface Connect adapter. That is fabulous. Uh, that is, that is great. Not only, ooh, this is, this is awesome. I'm really excited about this. This is, this is a huge performance bump. Over Surface Laptop Studio, not only are we moving from a 3050 to a 4060, but it's also moving from, it would, you know, it's, Surface Laptop would throttle between, you know, an overall system like this, it would be throttled down to 70 to 80. This is giving us uh, like up to 120. It's, yeah, <laughs> 120 watts. And we've been running for a while now. Uh, so that is great. Let's move back into desktop mode and that's going to gimp it down it's like whoa what's going on and let me stop the okay now <laughs> now it really is throttle look at this guys uh, 25 and 20 only 55 watts that it's using right there that is <laughs> wow so if you're trying to use this in, in laptop mode, it's gonna throttle you eventually. Once the chassis starts getting hot, it's gonna limit you to looks like that's like, that's like 30 watts right there. But the easy fix, again, pull it forward and you're, <laughs> look at this graph shooting up. Sorry, I gotta get the reflection out of the way. So, wow, that that's crazy, that is crazy. So we're basically going between 110 watts in tent mode to 70-ish watts and as low as 30. It's 
So yeah, that is some interesting behavior. But once again, if you're using this for gaming, if you're using this for gaming and you are typing on it, using the built-in keyboard for typing, you're gonna have a bad time. I'll tell you right now. Uh, I mean, you're not gonna have a bad time. It's, it's, it's powerful, but once it gets hot, it's gonna throttle hard if you are typing on it using this keyboard. But if you put it into temp mode and you use a gamepad, you're gonna get way, 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 way better performance. And not only that, so, so what I would say is if you're gonna use this like as a gaming PC, you're gonna wanna get a Bluetooth keyboard and put it in front of the Surface Laptop Studio if you want to get 110 watts, because otherwise you'll be sitting at 50 to 70 watts. All right, so now that we have an idea of how the GPU works, let's look at the CPU. Uh, so the important things to look at here are the watts being used, the CPU package power, and I'm gonna go ahead and load this up on almost all cores, there's 20 cores, but I'm gonna load up on 18. Uh, well, that's an extrapolation of cores and threads, but there's 20 threads. I'm gonna load 18 so we can see what the wattage goes to. So again, keep, keep the eye up here. I'm gonna go ahead and click this. We're on high performance mode, best performance mode, I guess. Let's go ahead and see what it does. Okay, went to 80, 80 watts on the CPU, 83. And the, the package temperature is actually only at 88, now it went to 92, but that's actually pretty good. A lot of times what you'll see is when it, it peaks, it will go straight to like 95, 100, and is limited by, by thermal limited by the by the temperature rather than the power limit. And so the cooling solution on the Surface Laptop Studio is really good. We're pulling 50 watts now. Looks like it it you know is capable of using up to 80 watts and as it gets hotter it looks like it settles into about 50. Now again that is when the GPU is not being used. Uh, because once the GPU gets used, it may pull some power away from the CPU in a smart manner. So there you go. Uh, we're, we're operating in the 50 watts when we're, I, I'm not going to say throttled, but kind of throttled. This is power limit throttling. This is normal for CPUs to be doing. Um, but yeah, peaks at 80, maintaining 50 very easily. So that is great on this Surface Laptop Studio 2. So there you have it, the throttling characteristics of the Surface Laptop Studio 2. It's a powerful device. It's able to push 110 watts, pretty much sustained in this tent mode. Uh, it's also able to sustain 50 watts on the CPU with burst up to 80 watts. So it's no slouch and uh, with the trick of folding it into the tent mode, it's, man, it's it'll run all day. I haven't seen it throttle when it's in this mode, and it can maintain 110 watts, 80 watts on the, G the GPU and the rest into the CPU in the system. So this is a very powerful device. It's great, but guess what? We're not done yet. There's so much more to cover on this device. So go ahead and get subscribed up on the channel. Uh, we're going to be opening up the back and taking a look at the cooling solution inside. And we're also going to be upgrading the SSD inside and see if that's the same situation, same screw hole points. More content to come. We'll run some actual benchmarks, gaming benchmarks. And uh, yeah, stay tuned. More exciting things to come.